Hello everyone, it's James. I'm riding my bike and I have a box that I'm going to send. I'm going to a Japanese post office and I'm going to show you what form you need to send something across Japan. This is only for Japan. Okay, uh, see you there. There is the post office. You're going to need this. Okay, I'll show you how to fill it out later. Okay, I'm back at home. Okay, if you want to send a box of books across Japan, like what I did, you would pick up one of these slips called Yupak. It's written over here. There are two rectangles divided by this line. The upper part is for the receiver and the bottom part is information about you. So up here, let's say you're sending it to someone uh, in Tokyo. I'm down in Kobe. So you would find out their postal code, you would write it over here and then their address. Depending on the post office, some post offices will ask you to write it in Japanese. If you really can't, just tell them that you can't write it in Romaji. Then you would write the receiver's name here. Then over here, it says Denwa. That means telephone number, the contact number. So you would write the receiver's number here. Over here, this is your information from your postal code, your address, and your name. And then Denwa telephone, that's your number. And over here, I wrote 122. I think this is Haitatsu Nozomihi the date in which you want this delivered. Once you fill this out, the people at the post office will measure and weigh your package. Then they'll tell you how much you have to pay and when your package will be delivered, probably within four days. Okay, then after you pay, you'll get a receipt and then you'll get the top slip. Okay, and you can track this online. Here is the tracking number right here. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.